Hello friends, in this video we will see the problems based on a circular setting. Okay, circular setting arrangement problem. So this problem has four statements and the four statements are as follows. And the first statement is A, B, C, D, E, F and G are sitting around a circle sitting around a circle and or and or facing the center and or facing the center and the second statement in the problem is g is g is second to the left of c second to the left of C who is to the immediate left of F immediate left of F and the third statement is A is third to the left of E A is to the third to the left of E and fourth is B is between D and E. B is between D and E. So this problem has these four statements. Okay. So based on this four statement, we have to establish the circular setting arrangement for A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So based on those setting positions, we have to solve these following questions. Okay. The question number one is, which of the following is false? So, which is false? Which of the following is false? So, the option A we have is A is fourth to the right of E. A is fourth to the right of E. And option B we have is F is third to the third to the right of d third to the right of d this is the first question and the second question is which of the following is true which of the following is true okay so first option is i mean option a is c is fourth to the left of b fourth to the left of b and option b we have is A is to the immediate immediate right of G immediate right of G okay and the question number three is so which of the following has the middle person which of the following has the middle person sitting between sitting between remaining two remaining two so option a is uh, deb and option b is and option b is gdb okay so these three questions we have to solve based on the given four statements okay so now let us establish the sitting positions for a b c d e f g okay EF and G okay so let us consider a circle let us consider a circle and let us consider seven positions three four five six and seven positions right so according to the given problem all are facing towards to the center so this is the center of the circle so all are facing towards to the center so that means they are facing in this direction they are facing in this direction right so first one is over and second one is g is to the second to the left of c let us assume c is sitting here so then g is second to the left of c so c is facing this side so this is the right side and this is the left side of the c so the second position of the left side of the c is going to be this is the first position and this is the second position so this is the second to the left of the c so g is sitting here okay 
and it is given who is to the immediate left of f that means c is immediate left of f so that means f is sitting here so he is facing this direction so c is the immediate left of c so the second statement is over and ne next one is third a is third to the left of e a is third to the left of e right so that means uh, suppose uh, here i take option he okay if i take e here so he is facing in this direction this is the right hand side this is the left hand side 1 2 3 so this is already filled so a cannot sit here right so if i take e here e here again the third position this one is filled so again if i take e here so the third left side of the third position this one is filled so that means i can put e here okay for example if i put uh, e here what happened if i put e here so left position left third position from the left right so one two three a will come here if i put e here so a will come here so that means there is a possibility of putting e here or here but what happened we see here you see b is between d and e so if i put e here so d is between i mean b is between d and e if i put here so this one going to be the fall so that's why i take e here that's why i take e here right so if e is here a is third to the left of e then a will become here one two three third to the left of here so it is given that b is between d and e so i take d here and and b here so that means b is between between d and e okay so now we finalize all the seven positions sitting position for the all the seven persons so now we we will solve this three questions. which of the following is false a is fourth to the right of the e so a is uh, fourth to the right of e so e is here and right side is this one one two three four so fourth side i mean fourth to the right of the e is a but it is given a is fourth to the right of the e so that means right so e is facing this direction right side pull is this one first second third fourth position so this one is the right but uh, here it is asking which is false so that means we have to check this one is false or true right so f is to the uh, third to the right of the d so d is here he is facing in this direction okay so then right is this side right so if he is facing this direction right is this one one two three so f is third to the right of d but actually c is the third to the right of the d so this one is the false one but he is asking which is the false so that means so the answer for question one is b the answer for question one is b right so which is true he is asking right here in the second question he is asking which is true c is fourth to the left of the b c is fourth to the left of the b so b is facing in this direction so left is this side if he is facing in this direction, left is this one so one two three four so fourth c is fourth to the left of the b but actually c is third to the left of the b so that's why this is false so that's why this is false a is to the immediate right of g g is here and a is here so g is facing in this direction so a is the immediate right of the g so that means b is true b is true but here asking which is true so that means answer for this second question is b okay and next one which of the following has the middle person sitting below uh, sitting between the remaining two so now we have to check e is between d and b e is between b and f so this one is false and here g d b g d b so here d is sitting between g and b so that means b is true so that means which of the following middle person sitting between the remaining two so the answer for the third question is option b okay so i hope you got this one so thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt please leave a comment thank you